My daughters, Malia and Sasha, are here today, and they always have trouble. They, they, they have trouble every year deciding what they want to be for Halloween. John McCain doesn't have that problem, because he goes out and trick-or-treats as George Bush. Now, the truth is, actually, President Bush is sitting out the last few days before the election. But earlier today, Dick Cheney, you don't have to boo, just vote. Earlier today, Dick Cheney came out of his undisclosed location, and he hit the campaign trail. And he said that he is, and I quote, delighted to support John McCain. So I'd like to congratulate Senator McCain on this endorsement because he really earned it. That endorsement didn't come easy. Senator McCain had to vote with George Bush 90% of the time and agree with Dick Cheney to get it. McCain had to serve as Washington's biggest cheerleader for going to war in Iraq and supports economic policies that are no different from the last eight years. So Senator McCain worked hard to get Dick Cheney's support. But here's my question for you, Colorado. Do you think Dick Cheney is delighted to support John McCain because he thinks John McCain is going to bring change to Washington? Do you think John McCain and Dick Cheney have been talking about how to really shake things up, get rid of the lobbyists, and put Halliburton on the sidelines and put an end to the old boys club in Washington? Come on. Colorado, we know better. After all, it was just a few days ago that Senator McCain that said, said that he and President Bush share a common philosophy. And we know that when it comes to foreign policy, John McCain and Dick Cheney share a common philosophy also. One that thinks that empty bluster from Washington's going to fix all our problems, and that a war without end in Iraq is the way to defeat Osama bin Laden and the al-Qaeda terrorists who are in Afghanistan and Pakistan and who are the ones that killed 3,000 Americans. So George Bush may be in an undisclosed location now, but Dick Cheney's out there on the campaign trail because he'd be delighted to pass the baton to John McCain. He knows that with John McCain, you get a twofer. George Bush's economic policies and Dick Cheney's foreign policy. And that is a risk that the American people cannot afford to take. It's time for change, and that's why I'm running for President of the United States.